discharge from baroreceptors cause inhibition of the options are caudal ventrolateral medulla rostral ventrolateral medulla nucleus of tractus solitarius and nucleus ambiguus now uh, first of all you should know about the baroreceptor reflex so the bero receptors as the name itself indicates that bero means the pressure and receptors which will be sensing the pressure so these are the receptors which are going to sense the pressure right now uh, bero receptor reflex first of all you should know the location of the receptor and that is going to be your carotid sinus and aortic arch aortic arch wall it is stimulated by the stimulation of bero receptor uh, it generally due to the increased stretch so whenever there is stretch or uh, stretching of the wall that might be due to increased bp of course and that causes the stimulation of these receptors now what is the afferent pathway for this which will be the sensory nerve that will be taking it and that is going to be the ninth nerve the ninth nerve and then you have the tenth nerve now ninth nerve here sometimes is referred to as the sinus nerve of harry now if this particular question comes you have to choose the ninth nerve and then tenth is your of course vagus nerve that generally takes the afferent uh, stimuli uh, when it is stimulated at the carotid sinus or aortic arch wall right now what is the center of reflex now the center for reflex here is going to be your medulla now in the medulla also you have two things vmc and you have the cic so we'll be elaborating this during the discussion ahead then what is the efferent pathway now when afferent will be taking center uh, signal towards the center center will be uh, giving some efferent signals as well and these are going to be your sympathetic nerves and your parasympathetic nerves now we know sympathetic what will be the function of sympathetic it will be increasing the heart rate and parasympathetic will be decreasing the heart rate right so yes what will be the main response here so not only the heart rate but the main response because since there is an increase in the bp so actual response is going to be decreased bp when stimulated so whenever uh, these bero receptors are stimulated these are going to cause the decrease in the blood pressure and that is going to be your main function although it can also lead to decrease in ventilation that is a secondary function okay so decrease in bp and that is the main reason why we want to uh, stimulate the bedroom receptors now i'll just give you a basic chart which will help you to understand the various uh, pathway that will be actually uh, taking place here so yes uh, if we just uh, think about the whole uh, scenario so we should know yes there will be bero receptor that will be uh, i'll just write it here bero receptors will be there now these bero receptors will be taking afferent pathway and that afferent will be through ninth nerve and tenth nerve so there will be ninth nerve and tenth nerve and these will be stimulating the nucleus tractus solitarius now this nucleus tractus solitarius will be stimulating two things okay it will be causing stimulatory effect on two things one is your cvlm that is your caudal ventrolateral medulla and second is your cvc now what is this cvc uh, this particular uh, cvc is the cardiovagal center this is the cardio vagal center now since vagal has already come in the picture here so you should know vagus nerve is basically a parasympathetic nerve so yes a parasympathetic nerve will be coming from here so there will be parasympathetic stimulation and that will be reaching towards the heart and vasculature there will be effect on the heart and vasculature and that will be decreasing right decreasing the heart rate as well as decreasing the bp same way there will be cvlm now this cvlm that is your caudal ventrolateral medulla 
will be causing the inhibitory effect. Now remember here, there will be inhibitory effect on the VMC, also known as the rostral ventrolateral medulla. So also known as rostral ventrolateral medulla, RVLM. Okay. So sometimes you can find it uh, as VMC, that is the vasomotor center, or uh, you can find it as RVLM. This is the another name of the vasomotor center itself, and these are tonically active centers. Now, what will happen to this? This will again be leading to the sympathetic sympathetic stimulation, right? Now, there will be sympathetic fibers that will be coming towards the heart and vasculature, and this sympathetic generally causes the stimulation of heart. Heart rate will be increasing. BP will be increasing, but what actually uh, is happening? This CVLM is causing the inhibition of this vasomotor motor center, and that's why you will be uh, achieving the decrease in BP at end. So sympathetic will be reduced, and parasympathetic will be increased by the effect of the baroreceptor. So this is the whole concept. If you would have understood now, discharge from the baroreceptors causes inhibition of which it is causing the inhibition of the vasomotor motor center or the RVLM. So the answer to this question is going to be your second that is your rostral ventrolateral medulla.